Step three to starting a new business revolves around creating a business model and strategy. First, you must identify what your business is good at, typically through your core competencies. Your core competencies are things that the business does very well and thus give you a competitive advantage or the ability to be better than your competition. Once you actually have established a competitive advantage at something, again, it could be uh, being able to produce something quicker or at a cheaper price, you're able to create a unique selling proposition where essentially what makes you different than the competition and why your consumers should purchase from you versus your competition. The unique selling proposition could be anything from having the higher quality to being a better price to just being quicker at being able to get it to the consumer. Once you've actually established your unique selling proposition and, and identify how you're going to be different than the competition, you really need to figure out who you're going to sell to and how you're actually going to get the product out there. Are you going to go B2B and primarily sell to another business who then might retail it or actually sell it to a wholesaler and then retail it? Or are you going to go B2C in which you're selling directly to the consumer? Are you going to be offering at a contract price in which you're only working with even larger businesses at, at larger terms? Um, again, we'll really identify how your business operates. But again, it all comes down to your core competencies. What your business does well, which is primarily based on who is involved in the business, will dictate your business model. Once you've identified who you're going to sell to, you must decide how you're actually going to be selling to through the different sales channels. Are you going to have a brick and mortar location, a physical location um, in an area, or you can even have a uh, transit location in which maybe you have a food truck that can actually move around an area. Are you going to have a website in which you're just primarily sell, making all your sales through online and reducing your overhead? Or are you going to have some type of brick and click combination where you actually have a brick and mortar and a website and both of them are trying to bring in sales? You could have an online marketplace in which you're just using something like Amazon, eBay, or Etsy and you're primarily just banking off of their web traffic and selling the products and just giving them a nice cut of it by providing the marketing for you. Or lastly, you could go with direct sales. You know, you could go to, just to trade shows, events, or be, or actually to direct uh, businesses or consumers and try to make sales in person. Uh, really, when you're thinking about your business model again, it's all going to come down to who's involved in the business and what you're good at. Don't try to uh, become something that you're not. And, and again, focus on who's in the business and what at heart you're good at. If you have any questions on how to start a new business, please do not hesitate contacting us. Thank you.